All right, we're here with the Bourbon Wildcats head coach Jim Fortune after a 69 to 65 squeaker, if you will, over the uh, Admiral's wreck for the uh, Wildcats. Put the up a 14 point lead. Saw the Admirals respond right before the break, come back and, and shift that lead down to, to a six at halftime and a 14 to four run. Jim, what do you saw in the first half of the Wildcats at a sluggish start? And then um, you guys opted to go inside also with the offense. Well, a couple factors here is that Deontay's not here, so, so that changes the rhythm of the game. It, it makes JoJo, you know, the main player. Um, so we had some adjustment there. But it's one of those, you coach for years, other team only starts with four players. You know what I'm saying? It didn't really, and so the team doesn't take it seriously. I had to make a substitution, you know, because they were joking around, you know, on the floor. And then as the game goes along, more and more players show up, and all of a sudden now they've got a good, a good stable of players. Um, so it became a dogfight down down the stretch. You know, you saw it. It was basket for basket, and um, plus the temperature hurt tonight. You know, the players really didn't want to run that much because it's hot. So a lot, so a whole bunch of the perfect storm came together to make it a tough game. And, and I really had to coach to keep these guys motivated or keep them doing what they needed to do. Yeah, they hit in that uh, 14 point lead and drilled down right before halftime. And in that halftime, it was a, it was a close game to start up with. It was 38-32. Yeah, uh, you guys built themselves yourself up a lead just to see them ship back in it. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, it's just one of those strange games, um, you know. But you know, experienced players and um, they did what they needed to do, and um, you know. Um, so I'm really I'm proud of them. Um, you know, and, and they stuck through it and, and and didn't allow the Murphy's Law or whatever you want to call it to, to, to come in and bite them um, to lose the game because we very easily could have. Five D changes in this game, but I thought the key tonight was Teddy Biofi. We had him on the ESPN Sports Post Game Show as he was uh, playing on the boards underneath. Uh, in nice interior passing for the Wildcats tonight, especially for Teddy and others tonight. But uh, I thought he was key in the win tonight. He helped set the tone. Oh no! Without Teddy, we wouldn't have won this game. He he was the uh, you know he was Energizer Bunny, you know, and um, he had 14, which he doesn't normally score that many points. But a lot of them too are coming off of um, he was making the cut. And that's the problem we've, you know, we have, we've had for a while. Guys standing around the outside and watch JoJo and Deontay work, you know, and then who's coming in for the rebound? And Deontay and, and JoJo, they need that extra pass. And that's what Tenny was really doing is JoJo was working and Tenny was making the cut and it was a nice, easy pass because everybody was focusing on JoJo. You wind down here, yeah, they did a good defense on JoJo too, a uh, uh, defense that the Admirals and that uh, had to shift gears and kind of helped share the ball in this game. Oh no, the Admirals did an excellent job, and there was three, there were four ex Wildcats on that Admiral squad, you know, and then Dwayne Clark who we're going to pick up. So no, that's what I started. I tell them at halftime. I was seeing who was coming in. Mir Patton shows up. Uh, you know, Kimo Rotomi's playing for them, you know. So they they just kept rolling in, and they and they, and we were out there like, uh, we got uh, we got this. So. It was almost the uh, the case of the. The rabbit and the, and the tortoise. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And we was for weren't taking a serious start of the game. Take a serious second half. Come up with a 69-65 win over the Admirals. When your third straight game, congratulations. Yeah, we can go home and forget about it now. <laughs> Thank you.